Yo, what is up people? How are you guys doing today? I got a new e-bike. Well, sort of kind of a new e-bike. For the second time, I converted my hardtail to an e-bike again using the Bafang BBS 02B e-bike conversion kit. Let's check it out. So here it is guys, my specialized pitch mountain bike with a Bafang e-bike conversion kit on it. So let's check out this motor real quick. As you guys can see, it looks really slick. There are three mounting options for this, so you can mount it in here or the back right here and right here. So I'll just put it right here, that way it's easier for me to do. And the motor is actually a 750 watt motor and it has a torque of 100 Newton meters. So this is a pretty high torque motor. And as you guys can see, this thing looks really nice on my bike. It doesn't look bad. That's the problem about e-bike conversion kits. They, sometimes they can look pretty weird. So that 100 Newton meters of torque right there is really good for hills. Too bad around here is pretty flat because you know we live in Florida, Georgia. But yeah, the torque is pretty good that I can probably do a wheelie without even putting effort on it. But Whoa. Sheesh. yeah i really like this motor and again it's super easy to install that's the that's the, the best thing about this e-bike conversion kit literally I, all i have to do is remove my old bottom bracket and slap this thing just like a regular bottom bracket so yeah it is that's that's a good thing about this thing anybody with a little bit of bike experience can probably install this e-bike conversion kit since you can install this e-bike conversion kit on just about every bike you can use a mountain bike a road bike for long rides or you know a regular bike if you're just gonna commute with it there's a lot of options for this but me you know I got mountain bikes here we go it's installed on my mountain bike so the battery is a 48 volt 20 amp 960 watts so that is pretty massive and the coolest thing about this e-bike is it has a built-in air tag I literally had to remove the battery last night and tinker with it and there is a legit air tag installed right here so that is a really cool anti-theft feature right there and this battery has LG cells so you know it's gonna last and Bafan claims that this thing has overcharge over discharge short circuit and overheating protection so that is really cool so what else let's move on to the screen all right so to turn it on hold this power button right here by the way I really like this controller right here all right so I hold the power button and now the screen is on Technically the bike is on and ready to go, but let's check out this thing real quick So to add pedal assist you just press the plus button. So right now I'm on pedal assist one two three four five all the way to five So to reduce pedal assist of course you just press the minus button and all the way to one and this touchscreen is really nice So you swipe down you got all of your details right here. You can even change the language check this out There's so much language here. I Wonder if there's Filipino here, but no yeah, you got Dutch, Netherlands, Italian, English, whatever that is, whatever that is. And uh, let's stick with English right now. Press OK, change settings, and here we go. We are on English mode. If we move on to this side right here, now we can change the wheel size. You can check the battery. You can change the voltage on it. USB port, you can turn it on and off because the battery actually has a USB port to charge your stuff light this is you know your headlamp but I did not install it because I'm just uh, I'm not a big fan of it you can even change change the uh, voltage offset no let's not change that and there are more stuff here you can even lock your screen you can put your own password on it and it is a pretty cool easy to use system right here and if you swipe up like this and you can even see more details details like your battery consumption your speed mileage while we are here they even sent me this motor kill switch right here. So if I squeeze the brake and that magnet disengaged to this little sensor right here, your motor will turn off. Check this out. So right now I am on pedal assist zero. It's not working. There is no pedal assist. Let's put it on pedal assist one. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at that. Pedal assist two. Pedal, you know what, let's do pedal assist five because I'm bored. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the kill switch for the motor. It's moving, but when I pull the brakes, motor is it's turning off. 
so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's interrupt this video real quick because I think all of you guys need to hear this, especially my friends and family because they've been buying a lot of stuff online and it can get pretty expensive, but why pay more? Go to AliExpress.com, it's just way cheaper over there, you know, you can buy a lot of good stuff, just like the Bafang e-bike conversion kit that we're talking about right now, dropper seat post for your bike, cassette, tools for your bike, it's just way cheaper over there. Especially right now, AliExpress Black Friday is live from November 22nd to December 11th. You can get up to 90% off on all categories using my promo code 40DEAL. All right, go ahead to AliExpress right now and enjoy your discount. Let's go back to the video. All right, let's ride and we're gonna ride around the woods first and then later we're gonna take a spin over at the road, see what the maximum speed is. Let's go. So I'm gonna do just no pedal assist. It's uh, just pedal assist zero, <laughs> which is, you know, it's like a regular bike. And so far it's still, still okay. It's like a regular bike. You know, I can still maybe flick it, but I don't want to go a little too crazy about it because I got a massive battery installed on it. So now let me do pedal assist one. All right, easy nine miles an hour. It's actually going 10. The more power you put on the, on the motor, the more power it will give you. Pedal assist one is all I need probably, you know, if I'm riding the trails because this thing can, <laughs> this thing is going 10 miles an hour already. Like every time I put a little bit of power on the pedals, it is going pretty good. All right, let me do pedal assist two maybe. All right, pedal assist two is I'm already going like 19 miles an hour. That is crazy. Whoa, wrong turn. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna stick with pedal assist one here in the woods. It's fast enough, but maybe on the last stretch we'll do pedal assist three but yeah so far the bike feels very natural you know bike feels just like a regular bike it is a little heavier now because you know we got a massive battery the motor and all the cables and everything but if you're riding it it feels like a super lightweight bike I am barely putting any effort on this thing and it's going so it's peaking out let me see it's peaking out 720 right now on pedal assist too and I am barely putting any power on it like I'm just literally like spinning spinning the cranks and this thing is moving look at that <laughs> Ooh, this is awesome matter of fact let's do pedal assist 4 oh yeah I just turned my bike into a really fun bike so light still got 100% battery power on it I don't know I got a pretty big battery, so this, this, it might take all day for me to drain this thing. All right, we are now on the road, and I noticed that my cameraman can't even keep up with me. All right, let's do the road test, and let's see how fast this thing can go. Full throttle. All right, no pedal assist right here. Full throttle. This bike feels so fast. 25 miles an hour. 26. 27 I don't know if you guys can see but that's on 27 miles an hour right there all right max speed of 27 miles an hour on the road that is pretty impressive nice all right let me test it out with pedal assist five full speed let's see how fast we can go with this thing again the more power you give the bike the better 29 30 so easy 31 miles an hour 32 32 miles an hour max with pedal assist <laughs> Woo! all right looks like it's about to rain all of the sudden it is super cloudy so i need to rush back to my truck head home i don't want this bike to get wet although this is actually uh Water resistant, I still don't want it to get wet because you know, we got electronics and well, I guess we'll find out if this e-bike conversion kit is waterproof because right now I am soaking wet. All right, let's go home. Back in the house and the bike is soaking wet. So I'm gonna wipe it up and I'm gonna make sure it's super dry and we're gonna test it again, see if it's still gonna work. Okay, so the bike is dried now. It's not soaking wet anymore. Let's turn it on, see if it's still gonna work okay looks like it's still working no problemo right there so yesterday i think i did 15 miles of riding 
and let's check real quick all right i got 15.5 miles and i still got 97 percent of juice left so let's see if it's actually still gonna work so all right it is still working so personally i think i like this better than my other e-bike conversion kit that i installed in this one because this one is way cheaper and it's powerful enough it's silent and it's so easy to install so that's the pros about this thing. It's cheaper, it's easy to install. This is very reversible. If you want to remove this thing and go back to a regular bicycle, you can always do that. So right now, this thing is actually on sale at Al AliExpress. I will link it down in the description. Use my promo code, discount code 40DEAL. That way you can get a little bit more discount. And um, yeah, what do you guys think about this new e-bike conversion kit? Let me know down in the comments below. And I guess that's about it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep pedaling, ride safe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.